Thank you, Raisha, as always, bringing you a roundup of all the latest in Indian politics in the next five minutes or so. This is Poll Countdown. We begin today's Poll Countdown with the state of Tamil Nadu. Chief Minister M.K. Stalin has slammed the BJP's election manifesto, calling it a villain. In fact, he's praised the Congress manifesto as the hero. He was addressing an election campaign meeting for Thiruvallur and Chennai North Parliament constituencies. Stalin said that DMK's demands have been reflected in the Congress's manifesto, pointing out BJP's failures. He said the party is promising sanitary napkins for as less as one rupee, but the same promise was made in 2019 Parliament elections as well. He further added that the BJP in fact imposed GST for the sanitary napkins and it was the DMK MPs who raised voice against imposing of GST on sanitary napkins. Stalin also criticized Prime Minister Modi's recent remarks. He said whenever he opens his mouth, he divides people based on caste and religion. Separately, he listed out the various state government schemes and claimed that the millions, millions of people, pardon me, have been benefiting through them. He further charged at the AIADMK, which supported the BJP's anti-people policies and laws and defended them in saying that these policies would affect the people of Tamil Nadu. He also urged the people of the state to reject the BJP as well. Moving on over in Bihar, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has two public meetings today. He's currently addressing the electorate in Agaya's historic Gandhi Maidan. Following this, he's also set to address another public meeting in Purnia constituency. Earlier, Prime Minister Modi held public meetings in Jammu and Nevada. Former Chief Minister Jitan Ram Manji, who was defeated in the last two elections, is a candidate from the Hindustani Awam Morcha. JDU candidate Santosh Kushwaha has been victorious in the last two elections in Purnia. It is a coincidence that while Modi will try to save Manji from the third defeat, he will seek confidence from the voters to give Santosh a third victory. And the Election Commission of India, in a response to a right to information application, has stated that it does not maintain records of penal action taken against candidates for violation of the model code of conduct. The data sought by Mumbai based applicant Jitendra Kharge was for the last decade, that is from 2014 onwards. One of the two applications by Mr. Kharge sought details on the candidates and political parties to whom show cause notices were issued for model code of conduct violations during the Lok Sabha polls of 2014 and 2019 and the current status of those as well. The EC replied, it is informed that the information sought by you is not available in compiled form and compilation of the information will disproportionately divert the resources of the Commission. The second application sought details of the penal action taken since the 1st of January 2014 and the EC replied to that saying it is not available in the Commission.